All right, Seth Williams here. Um, MK677, the growth hormone secretagog that, well, is the most potent, bar none, way of increasing your growth hormone this side of directly injecting it into your bloodstream. Now, what is MK677? Well, it is a ghrelin mimetic, which means it mimics the hormone ghrelin, which directly causes the pituitary to secrete excess growth hormone. Now, why do we care? Why is that important? Well, growth hormone, it According to Dr. Ronald Klatz, who's a medical doctor, he wrote the book, Grow Young with HGH. This is what he saw with his patients over a six month period. And it wasn't just a few, it was thousands of patients over a six month period with no change in diet or exercise. Remember that. It's an 8.8% .8 increase in muscle mass, no change in diet or exercise, 14.4% decrease in body fat. Increased energy expenditure, stronger sexual performance and drive, better sleep, regrowth of heart, liver, kidneys, spleen, and other organs that enlarge with age or deteriorate with age even, lower blood pressure, better vision, increased endurance, stronger bones, faster wound healing. And this last one is not Dr. Ronald Klatz, but this I threw in there because we have seen this over long periods of time. Of Enhanced effectiveness of other anabolics to help them to work properly and to mitigate side effects. Now, this is what he found with injectable growth hormone that was injected three times daily, um, which is kind of not that fun, right? So now what we have come across is MK677 or ibutamorin, which one capsule a day will have a 24 hour increased release for every pulse throughout the day, which is like every two or three hours of growth hormone. This is so effective. They've done double blind control placebo studies showing that anywhere from 10 milligrams will be the equivalent of taking an injection of growth hormone, but up to 50 milligrams they've studied now. That caveat, let me throw this caveat in there. The thing is, is because it's released over a 24 hour period, it is not for a diabetic to use. Growth hormones produced whenever we are in stage, well, generally produced when we're in stage four sleep or whenever we are fasting through the night. The reason this happens is simply because, um, okay. <laughs> sorry, it's simply because Growth hormone and insulin compete for receptors. So if growth hormone's filling the receptor, insulin can't get in there. And this will cause heightened glucose levels. Um, this will cause A1C issues. So this is why, because it's a 24 hour release, diabetics are forbidden from using MK677. Growth hormone can be used, but it has to be used in a fasted state for a diabetic. Now, with MK677, so that's important to remember. If you're diabetic, don't even, you can shut this off now. Um, but here's the thing is one capsule daily is going to give that 24-hour release, right? And it's proven to work. You can, with growth hormone, if you go to your local clinic and you get synthetic growth hormone, which is the only way it comes, right? Um, it's going to cost you around $1,000 a month. That's a little pricey. MK677 at New Sarms, you can get for $70 for a 90 day supply. Honestly, if it's any cheaper than this, it's probably fake. Um, this is the lowest price for 90 days that you could possibly find. And it's the highest quality, guaranteed. So you can even use promo code SETH, get 15% off. But I digress. If you want these results, and remember, this is a six month period, it's not like tomorrow. Now, from my research animal's experience, right, he started with MK677 and he saw 90 in a bottle, 10 milligrams a cap. He decided it was a month's supply, so he started with 30 milligrams per day. 
he felt like he was hypoglycemic to the point that every two hours he had to eat or he thought he was going to go to sleep. And this was disturbing, so he knocked it down to 20 milligrams a day, which he stayed at for about four months. And then he got that feeling again. Um, after that, he knocked it down to 10 milligrams every night before bed, which is the best time to administer this. And at 10 milligrams, he did good for about probably five months. And then he started to feel hypoglycemic again. So then he did it every other day until he reached 11 months. The reason 11 months is every soft cell tissue in the human body is replicated every 11 months. It was his hope that his pituitary would reach a new homeostasis and on average produce more GH for a long, long time after that. And as far as he knows, he's correct there because it kept getting lower and lower dosage, getting the effect of the high dose. So as far as he knows, he hasn't had his blood tested, but he has not needed to administer since. That was about a year ago. So maybe two. Nonetheless, you'll see at New Sarms that you have to, um, whenever you check out, you use promo code Seth, 15% off, but use PayPal, Cash App, GPay, Bitcoin, Zelle, or mail a check. And the reason being is this is a direct competition the pharmaceutical industry feels to them. Because it has not been approved as a drug, well, it's legal for you to buy as a research chemical. The issue comes in is that they feel it is infringing on their profits, I suppose. So they get our credit card processor shut off. This is what I've been told by the credit card co companies. Um, so this is how you have to pay. And that's just a minor caveat. It's not a big deal. Um, but it goes out two days shipping. It'll be to you in two days. My name is Seth Williams. My um, telephone number. Text me first, please, because that way you always have record of what I've said and I don't have to repeat myself very often. So uh, 256-497-0494, or newsarms at pm.me to email me or go to newsarms.com. Um, for any questions you have, though, just text me or shoot me an email to that or sethnhc at gmail.com. Um, but these results are most definitely what you what one sees over a six month period remember research chemicals are not for human consumption they're not to be eaten or snorted or banged or insulfilated or used as procreation aids they are simply for research only research chemicals could cause bodily harm or can cause great benefit either way it's not on the research chemical company these are administered at your own risk to your research animal so with that said, um, if you have any questions further than this, let me know. Appreciate you.